Pin. Let's get it lined back up. Go at it. Here we go. I'm going to be careful at this point not to claw the way through to the other side. So that, that's why I'm stopping. You can, so once you get this the depth set, you can go ahead and get your guide. You can go ahead and lock this down with something. To, so you can just... Okay, and I'm just going to break that free like that. We can take this off later with a chisel or just a... Now, we're going to flip the wood. And we're going to go ahead and mark our spot again. So we're going to bring this down to right here. We're going to mark that. We've got our line right there. So we're going to do our imaginary 45 through there. And if you look, you've got your first look at a good blade. Now we're going to flip this in for end. Repeat the process one more, two more times. Peel that off. Okay, now we have our first real look at our blade. You can see that you've got a nice angle here, it's a nice tall blade, and it is pretty balanced. This is where the art of sanding comes in. Um, you could take this as nice as you want. I mean, I personally, I just like to get as much off as possible to make them nice and balanced. If you want to make them really attractive, you can go ahead and sand this down at it's it's gonna take it's gonna take some time, but you can definitely do it. Now your blade should be as uniformed as possible. If you look down this, th I'm holding this perfectly straight, and if I flip it this way, it's the same thing on both sides. Now you can round the ends off. I usually like to keep them nice and square. It's a little bit of a tricky uh, woodworking process, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand this a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and drill the hole, and I'm gonna show you how to balance the blade.
All right, that's a rough sanding. Now, you can, of course, take this down as nice as you want. You just want to get this wood angled so that it curves up nicely. I'm going to keep this just like this because, well, just kind of looks cool. But anyways, we're also going to be mounting these two blades together to make a quad. So you don't want to round too much into it. Usually, you know, that as you get better with this, you can measure these cuts a little bit closer and you'll have more of a chop there. This blade is very, very strong and sturdy. You know, the thicker you go, of course, the stronger the blade's going to be. But this blade would make a a nice turbine blade for a, for your windmill. Now, okay, here we go. This is the center point that we made earlier. I'm going to take a quarter inch bit and drill a hole right down the center and see how balanced this is. 